Thank you. Uh, today, uh, the 13th of uh, January 2024, uh, Raneo has been running his uh, AGM. Uh, major issues that we are on discussion um, were their registration. Actually, we, we, we wanted to appraise our constituents on the issue of our registration that we are now a registered entity with the Zimbabwe Netball Association and uh, uh, issues to, to, to do with professionalism then kicks in. We wanted our clubs, our executive and everyone who was saying with Ranyam to start behaving professionally because um, Behaving unprofessionally will damage the brand. We also talked about um, player registration because we find that players will walk from one club to another without any consequences. She plays for uh, Team A in Ranero today. Tomorrow she, play, she plays for another team in another in another league. So it damages the brand. It makes the, 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 the it makes a mockery of uh, netball administration. We also talked about uh, issues to do, to do with uh, gender based violence and, and and general abuse. We find that uh, we have had some challenges in terms of administrators dating uh, uh, netballers. So we came up with a, 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 a program to say we need more awareness. We also need uh, to have a, a, a players' committee. We also need a tour free line so that whoever reports issues of abuse uh, remains anon anonymous. We also talked about issues to do with uh, cancer awareness, some, some issues to do with their, their health. We also touched on the drug and substance abuse. You find that most of our teams are lagging behind in terms of their own code of conduct, team code, code of conduct. You find that a, a, a player or a coach encourages a player to play under the influence of, of, or he or she believes that a player plays better if she's under the influence of some substance. So we, we are going to come very hard on that. We have we had um, some, some uh, club executive members who have um, pledged to use facilities from their companies to say, we we'll have an opportunity to say, on a bubble, we'll come and have a doping test or, 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 or something like that. So. That's one of other other issues. We also talked about our finances. We have got a, a, a very firm sponsor. However, we need not abuse the funds they, they, they give us in terms of how we administer our games. That's to do with fixtures. Some clubs just decide not to go to a, a to, to to a match, for example. A team knows that if they go to blow petroleum, they are going to be uh, hammered some, 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 some big, with a big margin. So they would choose to say, it's easier for us to cancel that game and the walkover is given to, to blow petroleum. So in our code of conduct, we are trying, we, are, we will try this season to tighten our schools to say, it will be much better to go and get hammered one two hundred scores than not to go, and uh, we also talked about our fixtures. If you look at our fixture, we are playing on a bubble format. As much as we 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 encourage teams to fulfill their games, we need also our our our, our clubs to get involved in how we 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 fixture our games so that it becomes easier for some other teams. Uh, smaller teams for, for, for that matter to fulfill their games without much stress. If you look at a team like Lusumbami, their nearest uh, 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 um, away game is Bulawayo. If you look at Tenax, 
uh, which is in Mutari. The nearest game is either in Mashingo or Arad. Yet, if you look at teams like um, Correctional Queens, Support Unit, and Mambas, their away can be a, a, a walkable distance from, from where they play. So we are, we are trying to, to look at our, our, our best with the involvement of the clubs, how we can uh, make our fixture so that it becomes easier for uh, uh, less funded teams to achieve their, 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 their goals of fulfilling all their fixtures. So those, those are, are, are the major issues that we, 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 we talked about. These reforms are going to take shape immediately. The first thing that is going to happen, like in, in, in terms of professionalizing our, our, our game, there is going to be a workshop for commissioners. Remember, our commissioners are executive members and they are responsible for choosing best players in a match. So we, we, we want to touch base and say we need to be on the same wavelength and speak with one language. What is it that we are looking at if we are talking of uh, a best player? We have seen that we, we have the, 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 the human resource to assist commissioners. Look at Coach Pepe, for example, Perpetual CH Tema. She has been at the pinnacle of the game for quite a long time. She, have, she has done network analysis. She has done coaching. So she has got the, the, the requisite skills to carry out a workshop to, to, to give uh, 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 tips, educate, and inform commissioners on how best we can come up with an uncontested uh, uh, um, player of the, the the match, you would know that cumulatively, the player of the match per game will eventually become the player of the season. So we want to make sure that we give the best player to the most deserving uh, um, athlete in our league, so that at the end of the season, one is rewarded by the effort that she would have put into the game. It's true, we were registered on the 26th of May, 2023. Although there is no, because the, the, the agreement was that Zimbabwe Netball Association will give an official position. However, we still wait for that official position to say this is confirmation of registration. But it's not a lie. We are now a registered entity under the Zimbabwe Network Association as an affiliate of Zimbabwe Network Association. It's true. We, 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 we looked at the issues of player welfare in terms of bereavement or injury. We, we are looking at a, a concept where we find a, a, a group scheme for our athletes. Unfortunately, some other clubs will not uh, 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 get involved much easier because they have got policies at their workplaces. So we, we are looking at zeroing on in on uh, teams that do not have any uh, uh, fallback plan in terms of uh, bereavement, in terms of injury. We, however, looked at it this way. Ranel is a family of clubs 